that's the summary. And then as uh, Representative Jones is talking about, is that there are four requested or proposed changes to uh, the line items. In essence, you could say that I would ask you for like the merit pay, I'd ask you to open up the page 27 and then change the numbers. But I felt it was easier to put it in this this level so that that's where they reference. I give you the I give you the page number, I give you the account number, I give you the title. The current budget, I'm just talking about this one merit pay, is twenty five thousand dollars. I'm requesting or suggesting that the number be changed to forty two thousand six six six. The change is seventeen six six six. That number and do you want me to get into the discussion on this one right now? I do. Okay. That number represents the pay increases that was granted to the non-union employees in the year 2013. If you grant a raise in 2013, it's going to be in the 2014 budget. Mm -hmm. But I don't or didn't or can't go back in and put in a little bit in every department. It's easier for me to put the number here on this line so that it's in the budget. So therefore, when January 1st comes along, I will actually charge this account and credit the other accounts for the fire department, the police department, mm -hmm. etc. So that their budgets will, will even oh, out. Even out. Yep. But that literally is monies that are now salary in the budget. So that's why that number is being proposed in that account. That's good. Okay. I think that's good. And if you would good just approach. explain to us the twenty-five thousand as budgeted and the amount approved going to forty-two six sixty-six. Yep. The budget of twenty-five thousand dollars. The budget for the last several years in that merit pay account has been fourteen thousand six eighteen. I'm on page twenty-seven. If you want to see where where I'm talking about. The Board of Selectmen charged me with, a, with <coughs> a question. And we still have several management employees that are still carrying the um, higher medical insurance. Last two years ago? Two years ago, the Board of Selectmen offered to the, to the non-union non employees if you change your insurance to a lower one, then we will give you X number of dollars. <coughs> it was literally by person. Each non-union employee had to make the decision to either not, not get a raise or get a raise and change their insurance. For example, I took the raise. I now pay, I have a uh, insurance policy that has a higher medical um, deductible. It, the, actually, I got one that has co higher co-pays in regards to the, to the uh, prescriptions, and also I pay a higher percentage. I pay 15 percent, not 10. But to me, <coughs> it was financially sound or reasonable for me to do this. There are other employees that did not do that. So what they're trying to do is come around on a second go-around to see if we can, uh, once again, offer to some number of the employees, the non-union. So I did an analysis and basically said, well, I think probably half the people are going to take it. So therefore, I came up with a $25,000 figure. So that's what that is encompassing, plus next year's potential raises for the non-union uh, employees. So there's it's two parts to that. But that's why there's the extra $11,000. <coughs> Quick pro pro part for of it is is that it affects the insurance now. Right? Correct. Health insurance mm -hmm. going Correct. down. Correct. There's an offset. Yeah. So that's a, a very good offset. Yeah. And and that's embedded in here as well. If we went to the insurance, you anticipated. It's it's basically yeah. You're going to get a pickup on that one. So right. there's going to be an offset to it. And it all depends on how many people take it. But. It, the changes that the Board of Selectmen made to the unions and the non-union uh, had a major effect on the cost of the medical insurance. It had a real dip, um, and it was very significant. 
Uh, I have a question uh, on the liability and uh, workers' comp. Is that a one-time reduction, or is this the can money I, that's can we just back finish with the local can we, can we just finish with the merit pay first? Um, oh, yeah. We'll get to that one in a minute. Right. Merit pay? So the amount that you came up with, Mike, is, is in anticipation of these employees exercising that option. Some number of them, yes. Some number. I took a, I looked at the who had it, who still had the other insurance, right? And then came up with a number, and I don't have the plan in front of me, but said, okay, <coughs> half are going to take it because they refused it once. Mm -hmm. Potentially, they're going to refuse so it, it again. So this, that's the maximum amount that it's the would best. Be it's my best yeah, estimate that's of that's what that's it would cost us yeah, if that went if, forward. If that <coughs> went through, all right. Yep. But then we should see that seventeen thousand six hundred and sixty-six. Let's say that differential off the insurance. The seventeen thousand six six six. No, no, no. That's that's already occurred. The twenty-five thousand is dealing with next year raise plus people taking the insurance. Mm -hmm. The seventeen six 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 are raises that occurred in thirteen and now should be paid in 14 and they all belong in different departments okay. the difference I think is from that yeah, 14 I don't, I, to the no, I've got it and this is a complicated it issue is. it is it's it was the similar situation happened two years ago I used the same vehicle and basically when mm -hmm. the next year came along I dropped the budget back to the fourteen thousand dollars because it really would be now absorbed in all the departments you know, Mike, we've discussed this, and I've had a hard time with this one, right down to having this on my list to X out, because I don't like the process. I don't like the fact that we had this on the budget last year, and correct me if I'm wrong, these people didn't see raises until November. Correct. I don't have any really good explanation for why we would put merit raises in a budget, year before and then not give them to the employees until November <coughs> and then we'd make them retro so it's more like a bonus and they probably could have used them along the way and we're perpetuating that here again that's policy and you know I've, I spoke to you yes about, th about this and I'm sharing it with this committee I am not going to look to strip this line because in the end it would hurt our employees but I will say the way we're going about this doing this first of all is difficult to understand and second of all has a lousy track record as far as I'm concerned of being implemented and actually getting money in our employees pockets and you hold when you approve it in March and you give start giving it out in November and I won't say any more about that other than I'd like to see something better next year I think we're stuck with it this year but I'm only speaking for me having analyzed it having not liked it to having not liked it from the point that we started doing it to me this is a way of bypassing the taxpayers and the taxpayers ability to approve things <coughs> I'll leave that there and throw this one out for a little bit of discussion around the table it may not be shared by by the rest of my group but Brian I, I share it um, only for the fact that I just want to make sure of one thing these are merit pay increases not scheduled or no one's guarding getting a like a scheduled raise as we've seen before, no. that was paid before it ever got to the budget committee. No. These are just merit. Yes. Okay. But their merit, unlike, was defined by the schools tonight. Mm -hmm. Theirs is one time, one shot, doesn't carry forward. This carries forward. That's a raise. Yep. So you're telling me that there's another raise on top of this raise. This is non union. Yep. This isn't step is increases either. This is just a merit raise, but it carries forward into the years going forward. So this is not like the merit increase that you're giving out, Ginny, with the schools. It's one time, one shot. 
That's the dif difference Is between the two. Is it based on evaluation? No, that's a big difference as yeah. well. Well, that's what I thought. Yeah. But I it basically was a straight across the board yeah. percentage given out to each individual. It's a race. It's a pay race. It's a race. It's a pay race. This is for all the non-union personnel. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, all of them, so it's across the board. Right. Yeah. It's a pay race. No evaluation as to how meritorious one employee was or another. It's a raise. It's called yes. But it's not raise. merit. Then okay. it's called right. merit. Then mm -hmm. so why don't we just, we can just call it raise. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I think well, that we, would be that, more that, accurate. that title has been there since I got here. You so. call it giveaway too. Hmm. Well, I think that employees should at least try and keep up with inflation. So therefore, <coughs> you know, but that's a different word. That's it's yeah. not merit. Okay, just put 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 the word raise in there. We that's don't we don't up. put the words in. That's yeah, the point, Michael. That, I mean, this is being presented to us as this, and it doesn't make sense to us. It's just the title that's been there for the years. Okay. I can change it. I'll change it for next year. It appears to be inconsistent with you policy won't be here that's next been established year, by the board. Which is why we have to make a point out of it this year. I'll pass the, I point. Don't know. I'll pass the point along. You know what? I'll call us from the Caribbean. We're, 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 we're going across the table. We'll be here to midnight. But you know what, Ginny? I'm going to start yeah. with you. If well. you've got a comment on this, I've made mine. I don't have any comment. I already right. did. Sunny? And well done it was. Oh, thank you. Mark? I understand it as a pay raise. I agree with that. So across the board raise. I don't have a problem with that. No problem. No problem. Well, I, I disagree. I, I don't consider it a raise because the employee, it's his decision whether or not he chooses to exercise that option. Is that, right? is that correct? He can stay just the way he is and choose to pay the higher or lower premium and a different thing. That's, that's, that's the second piece to it. There is the basic yeah. raise inside of the 25000 is the $14,000 that typically was there. There's another $11,000 that potentially would be paid out to employees. It's like three different pieces. There's, there's two pieces in this one. Normally that number would be the $14,000 level, which in essence would be spread around. Insurance, or you can get another We're amount yeah. and mm -hmm. take a different Change insurance. But then, insurance. But then there's also a raise thrown in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much is the raise? One percent. What is it? One percent? That's the one that the selectmen approved not that long ago. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Yeah, Thank you. Bob? I have no. I have no problem. No question. Yeah, the selectmen approved this in a secret meeting on Thanksgiving, a couple of days before Thanksgiving. We're feeling the holiday spirit, I guess. So I'm wondering, Michael, what is the actuals, now that we know the year is over, we know the actuals for the merit, <coughs> alleged merit raise, what was the actuals for 2013? They, they generate um, an amount of $17,666, which is why that, that budget is in there. So the actuals yep. on what has already taken place yep. without budget committee review without town meeting, without the legislative body review, has been increased by 17766 Against the budget of last year, $14,000. $14, so it went up 3000 Basically, $3,000 was the number that generated, yes. Right. And that was granted, I read the minutes of the non-public meeting, an extremely nebulous motion. I mean, you could read it 95 ways to Sunday, but there are some limitations to it. There's a 1%, there are actually two motions in, the, in those minutes. There's a 1% raise for non-union, all, no, all non-union employees, right? So all non-union employees got a 1% raise according to that motion. There was no reference at all made to it being retroactive. But it was put into effect as though the motion implied it being retroactive. Is that correct? It was made retroactive. <coughs> right. Even though the motion does not specify it being retroactive. And then the second motion was to give the town manager a 1% raise, correct? I believe so. And was that raise issued retroactively? Yes. Right. Now, the town manager is a non-union employee. Right. So he's actually covered by both motions, the first and the second. Did the he get 1 or 2%? The list, the list that was presented did not have the town manager having a raise that he was excluded from the original motion. Well, the motion did not exclude anybody. It said no, all non-union employees. Well, there was a list presented. And Point of order, if I could. No. We're yes. defining this, though. Um, I, I understand. 
the point you're making, I'm a, I'm a little, it's a little dicey here. I, I'm sensing we're moving into areas of personnel. I'm not worried about the meetings or the minutes. We're talking about personnel, pay raises. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if we need to. I don't think this is the forum. <coughs> Let me explain the line of questions. This is, this is the forum. The, the, uh, the number that we're being presented, we got an actual of 17766. Mm -hmm. and it's based on a motion made by the Board mm -hmm. of Selectmen. And I'm speaking about the motion of the Board of Selectmen mm -hmm. and how it was effectuated, mm -hmm. which produces this number. Right. So that's why it's relevant to this meeting. Okay, okay Mark. My Stick objection to the would numbers. be when we're looking at specific. But then we make the budget. If you if you oppose this, vote against it. No, it's not a question. I don't I don't jump that quickly, to, uh, Richard. I, I try to understand first, and so my questions are questions of seeking an understanding, a more complete understanding. And then I'll make a judgment. So, my question is, is that the non-public minutes, which are published, they're on the website. Are, you can I've read them four or five times. Cause they're kind of like nebulous, as I said earlier. The first motion said non-union employees all get a 1% raise. There's nothing meritous about it. Didn't have anything to do with whether or not they changed their health insurance plan. Everybody got 1% that was not in a union. Right? That was the motion. Then there was a second motion. When the minutes clearly sp specified the town manager left the room in this secret meeting, the non-public meeting. And he was to be given a 1% raise. So my question is, is that the Tom manager is not a union employee, so he should be covered, I would think, by the first motion as well as the second motion, because the second motion was specific to him. Okay. So, but that was not done. Is that correct? Tim, your point, though, my point is this. Total. My point is this, that the policy that the Board of Selectmen set forth as reflected in their, their secret minutes, the non-public meeting minutes, we made, you made the point. is very difficult to discern exactly what policy they were trying to effectuate. And it's clear because there was retroactivity that was actually put into place, even though it wasn't specified in the minutes. It's clear that you can read it that the town manager was entitled to 2%, not a 1% raise in those minutes. That, that apparently didn't take place. So I'm at a loss as to think whether these actuals were done correctly or not, co according to the policy set forth by the Board of Select. Okay, I'm going to bring it back full circle here to So how that's I my question on the actuals. The transparency on this process leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, Madam Chair, point of order, uh, and, and again, as the selectman's rep, uh, the uh, uh, Board of Selectmen do not meet in secret. We uh, perform in accordance with New Hampshire state law and all applicable laws, and uh, there is no provision for secret meetings. And uh, I, I accept your uh, correction, your self-correction. You've mentioned secret meetings three or four times. I'm sure by accident. Yeah, uh, I corrected it to non-public, which sure is by, accurate. I'm sure they were by accident, but there are no secret meetings. They are non-public. Uh, or they are non-meetings and they are in accordance with uh, uh, the high standards of the uh, uh, servants, public servants, the elected officials and uh, uh, town employees in this town to include uh, the voters. So I just want to be, be very clear about that and uh, um, when we are talking here that we, we address things in their correct legal terms and not uh, incorrectly or accidentally. Um, cast aspersions by calling about secret meetings. I, I didn't intend okay. to cast aspersions. All right, we've had point, uh, the suggestion point. that I was doing Tim. so, I, I think I need to address. Tim and I appreciate the chair be. offering me that opportunity Gentlemen. to do that. Tim. Uh, Don't make me use the gavel. All right. I'm going to end discussion on this. Can I just have a question? Sure, Jenny. Just a two-second question. When you approved the budget for last, last uh, la in March, there was no raise for non-union non employees in that budget? It was under this merit blanket. It was $14,000 budgeted for merit increases. Okay. Which was not given out <coughs> until <coughs> November. We passed that. And there was no reason given. And it, you know what? I'm not going to even ask. My okay. only point with this and I don't want to debate it back and forth, is that it's clear that this process leaves a little bit to be desired as far as if we don't understand it and if we're questioning it, you know what, the taxpayers are questioning it even more and, not, uh, and understanding it even less for the most part. I'd like to see that revisited. I think any actions we take on the amounts will end up hurting our employees, but they didn't build this process to begin with. They're kind of victims <coughs> of it. 
especially if you pass a budget in March and they don't see their money until November. That's the only point I'm going to make. So in rather than saying they get a 1% raise, you said they got a $14,000 pool. We didn't set a figure wasn't set at that point to the non-union. Okay. It was set at 0.85 and they changed it later to 1. That's okay. what the difference is. All right. Okay. Correct, Mr. Bean? Okay. All right. Anything else on that line, Michael? Um, basically, if the board decides they want to make this change, then I would say that you need a motion to change the line call merit pay from 25000 to $42,666. How long have they had these figures? How long has the Board of Selectmen had that figure? That request from you? 42.6. Because it's requested, it's not finalized? <coughs> that, that, well, if you see down below, the, the Board of Selectmen have recognized that change and they have included it into their uh, have they default budget. Do the, does that figure? But they, can't, they cannot change this budget number. It's because submitted was 25,000, they've I'm saying that because the salaries were changed in November, that now the budget should reflect an additional $17,000. Mm -hmm. They're saying that, and I'm suggesting and requesting that this board, Us. that's correct, it's your budget, it's your budget, that that number be changed to 42666 mm -hmm. If you do not, if you do not, then the budget will stay at 25000 the default, though, because it recognizes that those salaries changed and are in the budget or going to be spent, they're reflected in the default. So if we don't approve this, our budget, proposed budget, will be closer to the default, correct? Yeah. Right. Thank you. By 17,666. Well, well, a little bit at a time, we'll get there, right? No. If we don't no way. go forward to this, then this would be a true merit for last year. This year? No, what you will have done is you will have cut the salary budgets for police, fire, admin, etc. Cutting the increase. The, that increase has occurred. That will be paid next year. There's no way around that. So therefore, you've just cut, you've just cut the departmental budget by $17,000 is what you, in effect, would do. Departmental budgets. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And that will be spread well. over all the departments. Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> It'll affect you the bottom line. You now have... <laughs> You now have the dilemma. <laughs> All right. We call for the vote. Like putting it doesn't cut a pay. Yeah, it doesn't vote. cut the pay. Mm -hmm. It only cuts the bottom line. line. The board mm -hmm. of selectmen, of course, will still be able to pursue their policy within the bounds of that bottom line. Okay. So there's no reason to see that anyone's going to get a pay cut because I know the board of selectmen would never do such a thing. Uh, I'd give okay. It right. Do you have a, a final number? Because we're increasing if the proposal is to increase two seven one eight zero six by. Seventeen six 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 to the approval. Uh, the the number in the box is what I'm. Is what you'd want. Forty two six 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 is what the motion should read. Okay, and not the bottom line. And then, and then, then it will roll through. Roll through. Okay. Yeah. So somebody needs to make that motion so that you can then decide whether or not to do it. So I'll make a motion to approve $42,666 in what is now labeled the merit pay line. Second. All those in favor. Let's vote. I do this reluctantly. Opposed? Passed. Okay. Mr. Bean didn't vote. So what are we? Mr. Bean, how are you voting? I'm abstaining. You abstaining. You're abstaining. And may I, uh, on a point of order, just going forward, uh, um, uh, and it's just come up in, in, in this night's meeting, and I've always uh, uh, prefaced uh, my request for information from department heads or other boards um, with a little lead time so they can prepare. And there's a lot of uh, uh, natural scrubbing for data, and there's uh, been some uh, criticism of the, uh, the selectmen, and I, I think that the proper lines of communication go from your board, Madam Chair, from your, your not subordinate members, but your board members to you, and then you would have your requests and your, um, your opinions <coughs> and, and share those with Chairman Nichols 
at the, uh, the board. Otherwise, uh, complete mayhem results, and uh, it's not a productive meeting. It becomes confusing. And uh, that, that's the course of conduct that I have always used. And I think when we start criticizing other boards uh, in public, when we, when we ask these questions point blank, and they are natural questions to be asked, and I, I think everybody encourages them encourages those in the, in the free exchange of information in public. But uh, it, it seems to me to be a, a gotcha and some, some grandstanding. And, uh, <coughs> when, when folks want information, you have to give department heads and you have to give elected officials uh, the proper chains and lines of communication so they can get research the data and we can make better decisions. And I would respectfully uh, request that in the future. Thank you. Madam Chair, I'd just like to observe that I have made, personally, no, no criticisms. I have made observations, and they've been expressed in neutral terms. With On those rare occasions when I slipped, I immediately corrected them. <coughs> We're never getting out of here tonight. It, but you know oh what? Yeah, we are. Let's move that, on. That yeah. deserves a Can sharp rebuttal. Can we move this question? Patrick, wait, one minute, please. Okay. And I, I beg your endurance on this one. We are privy to the same calendar, my calendar for this budget year, so that the public knows and everybody, as everybody here knows, was posted March 2013. And I have to cancel a meeting because I cannot have figures that should be present because another board has not wrapped it up, and as we sit here tonight, still has <coughs> not wrapped it up. I don't need to be lectured. There are 15 people on this board that have waited for the material as well. They've been patient and they've been diligent about watching everything that's been said. And I will give them credit to that. And to <coughs> that end, they have acted as ladies and gentlemen, even though we don't always agree. I do not expect to be lectured at this point in time for having, been, for having had to wait, nor will I in the future. And that's all I'm going to say about that. To but I'm not going to let it go with getting my wrist slapped by a board of select member, okay, who is part of a board, who as far as I'm concerned, perhaps if there was more participation and more cooperation on that board, this board would have what it needs. And I don't see a need for anybody, quite honestly, to be on a laptop right now while we're conducting business on this board. So, going forward. Could I, could I move time. down? Yes, you